Hey everybody, uh, Jeff here. Uh, welcome back. And uh, first off, I want to welcome uh, some of the new subscribers that have showed up. I think a lot of us are mad, sad, frustrated, looking for answers. And uh, what uh, I'm going to report in this video essentially is I was on the phone with eBay four times today with four different people. Um, found out some stuff. They're still theorizing a few things, and uh, I'm gonna, you know, share with you what I learned during these four calls, and um, also gonna gonna read to you guys uh, some of the comments. I think because what I am finding collectively we're all pretty pissed off at eBay. And I am hearing that also from, from the reps as well that I've been speaking with. I spoke to some good ones today, spoke to some not so good ones today. And yeah, there's, there's some stuff going on. There's, there's also, it's just really weird right now on eBay. And, and, I, and I find that every few years there's always something that, that eBay does that really polarizes polar, polarizes the community. And I think now is the time, if you're not calling in and voicing your opinion on this, you're missing an opportunity because I think, uh, I think that's one of the things that we can do. So I wanna start off, like I said, I've got some, there were some really good comments that have been coming in and um, I've got like four or five of them I want to share with you because there's some also good ideas. There's good thoughts in there. There's, there's, um, it's hard to keep up in times like this. It's just, you know, I'm still actually familiarizing myself with the YouTube platform. I'm, I'm pretty new, but let's start with, I have been on eBay for 23 years. I've leaned into reselling on a serious level. This is from Brad Brinkley, 4760. I've leaned into reselling on a serious level in 2017 and went the last several years without having a no sales day. On the low end, I averaged about six to seven sales a day and averaged 10 plus for a long time. I have about twice as many items as I had two years ago. That really resonates with me. But have had at least three zero sales day this year. So we went several years without ever having a no sales day and he had three in 2023. And sales have been erratic for over a year now. After searching eBay for one of my newly listed items over the course of several days, an item that was promoted at about 2.5% and not finding it in the first five pages of listings, I started an experiment two weeks ago. I promoted everything in my store at the recommended ad rate and capped it at 13.5% promoted rate. At this point, my sales look like they will finish this month almost four times more than what I have been averaging a month. The deck is stacked against you if you aren't playing the promoted game. At least I know for sure now. I have loved and enjoyed eBay for years, but a competitor will eventually catch them. Please. When that time eventually comes, I'm going to be as loyal to eBay as they have been to me. And it will be all about the money because they have shown me that this is the only important game for them. I'm not complaining. I fully realize eBay is a business, but I have gone from exclusively selling on eBay to cross-posting. eBay has killed my brand loyalty. Pretty myopic on your part, eBay. And that is why you can't see the problem with your current profit strategy. Now, when I first read this, I, and, I, and I shared this with my wife, she was reading it, and, and, and her initial reaction was, wow, she's like, that's a really good post, but I'm skeptical. My wife has trust issues, right? So she was like, is this like some sort of guerrilla marketing campaign by eBay? Now, I... I I want to say I don't think that that is the case. I really think this guy's legit. I did ask him, is that four times sales that you've got? Is it four times your peak sales? Or is it four times your lowest sales? Are you still promoting at that? Uh, I, wanted to, I wanted to see his store to see what kind of items he was selling. I haven't got a response yet. But 
But my wife was like, this is the exact kind of response that, uh, that if I was eBay, I would do to try to get you to, run, to, to do that to your store as well. And I'm just thinking, man, that is twisted thinking, but I see that as well. I mean, marketing takes on all shapes and sizes, right? So I was like, you know, but he did say that as soon as a competitor arises, he's jumping ship. So I don't think eBay would, would, would say that. So that's one strategy. Now, I have come to the conclusion and there's three conclusions that I have come to. And I just, the third one just came to me with the last phone call that I spoke with. So I'll start, I'll start with him first. So the, the, the last one I spoke with today, the last customer service rep, he gave me some insight. He said, cause I was like, what's going on with promoted listings? And he offered like, why are my impressions down so much? And he did also say that he is feeling a ton of unhappy eBay uh, sellers. So he said two things. He goes, one, there's, there's, there's less buyers on eBay right now. He's like, they're, they're, they're buying from other platforms, which I agree. And it was refreshing to hear a representative say that. Two, he said, think of promoted listings like a pie. Well, he said cake. He's like, and I'm going to butcher this analogy. And I, and, and I couldn't quite wrap my head around it, but he basically said that Buy, sellers are basically it's 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 like a race to the top but you you have like so basically we're competing against each other sellers wise to, to get these dollar values to get these sales and if you're not promoting your items just aren't being seen he didn't he didn't make it sound like they're necessarily like suppressing your your listings or hiding your listings I don't know like it just made me think about that but it's also it's also a flawed strategy as well because he recognizes that let's say 15% is is kind of like what you have to do then then it's, soon it's going to be 16 then it's going to be 17 then it's going to be 20 and then it's going to be 22 23 and it's like where is this going to end like, I don't think eBay has really given this thought. Like, it's, it's, I don't know. Yeah, so, so that's one. So two, two, two is eBay is just straight up. If you don't promote, you're not getting any traffic. This is the most nefarious of the views. I don't know if it's, if it's plausible. I mean, it, it, it certainly feels like that. Um... What was three? Well, maybe it'll come to me. Anyhow, let's go on to the, um, I have, I've barely gotten any work done today and I just feel like I've been spinning my wheels for the last two days because dealing with, with, with just this crap, this is so frustrating. My, and, and based on the, the uh, comments, it seems like there's a lot of people too, like right around the 16th to 17th, that that's when their, their impressions and sales have just dropped off a, off a rock. My impressions, this is Jora Jara. My impressions collapsed on the 17th and remain there. My sales collapsed at the same time for the months before I was having the third best month ever. My sales in the last seven days are half the week before. I figured that they moved any promoted rate under 10% down to the same level as two. So two is all they got. So he's basically suggesting that if you're not promoting, like you've got to, if 2% is what you were promoting at pre the 16th, 17th update, let's just call it the 17th update. If you were promoting at 2%, now you have to be promoting at 10% to get those same amount of views. It's possible. It's definitely possible. All right, so... I don't actually like this comment very much. I, I, I understand it, but so this is from Rosa Nasser 5943. I can give you my general opinion on this. You are looking at this from a seller perspective. Of course, we're all looking at it from our perspectives because it affects our business. 
and how it is affecting your bottom line. eBay is looking at it from their perspective and the actions they take to improve their bottom line. eBay is more concerned about raising their income than you raising your income. Do you think eBay cares about you? No, I do not. I, I, I know they don't. Or does eBay care about themselves? You may argue that your success is eBay's success. But if another seller is willing to pay more in fees to list on eBay and maybe taking business from you, then eBay will give them priority over you. eBay is concerned about eBay. You are concerned about you. That is the bottom line. It is all about the side. It is all about what side of the fence you're on. All pretty obvious, but I, I, I don't have to, I don't have to like that point of view. And I also think that it's a very short term way to look at this like what ebay the, the can of worms that ebay is open with promoted listings it's not going to end well it's not going to end well because we don't know how to control ourselves when we're giving like tools that, that we can wreck ourselves with and that's that the promoted listing is a tool that I don't know. It's it's and and here's the other thing is that eBay is always concerned about the buyer's experience. And I think I talked about this in another video, but wouldn't it make sense that the buyers be getting the discount? What shouldn't eBay be focused on strategies to multiply their sales, multiply business, not not multiply multiply ways to take money from sellers, which is essentially what they're doing. So it's like, if I'm promoting at 15% and my final values are 15%, I'm paying store fees and I'm paying taxes. If 15%, I mean, that's a lot that you're giving away. That's, that's a lot eating into your profit margin. How much harder are you gonna have to work as a seller to sell more items so that you're making the same amount as you were two years ago like, I, I don't know. I didn't sign up for eBay to, to like, work that hard. Um, so anyhow, all right. This is from Lina Walensky 673. I found it strange that some people are having the best sales ever and some are having the worst sales ever. I don't feel like that would happen naturally. I, I, I agree with that. I don't feel, I don't feel that what's going on is natural on any level. Um, I also don't, I don't have an explanation for it. It's, it's weird. It's, it's really weird. Oh, 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 my third, my third conclusion. So the, so the, um, the, the cake infinite amount, uh, I mean, finite amount of advertising dollars. So you have to kind of like, you you have to out, outbid your fellow sellers to get business. And then everyone else is left out in, 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 in the desert. Two, um, you, you, what was two? <laughs> Go back and watch the video. But three is, um, oh my goodness, I, I lost it again. <laughs> oh my goodness, I really need to write things down. I apologize. My, my, my brain is, is a bit of a scatterbrain. Uh, okay, let's read this next comment. It'll it'll probably come back to me when I stop thinking about it. And then this is a this is a lengthy one, but this is this is really interesting. This is from JL Stanton, nineteen sixty eight. So this is how it works. Let's say I was getting five hundred views a day on forty four hundred items, and doing two hundred in sales a day consistently for for years. This is almost me. Almost me. I, I have more items than that, and I was doing more consistently. But this is this is why it re, I, this comment really resonated with me. Then after March 23rd, I was getting half of that, and a hell of a lot of other people were. 24 years on the platform, I know what I'm doing. So now I'm getting under 150 views a day, and I'm down over 50% since March 23rd. And last three weeks, I'm down 67% from traditional sales. Today, I had 79 views in the first 17 hours. So back to my math. Let's say I was getting 500 views a day. Now I'm getting 150. Why? 
Business is still the same elsewhere, but now eBay is hinting, hinting that I have have to, that I need to pay the suggested fee, which is four, then seven, then nine, and now in some cases, 15 cent, 15 percent. Absolute BS. I'm saying straight up, they clocked our views to get us to pay more. I just remembered. I just forgot. <laughs> Jesus. This is so bad. Okay, absolute BS. I'm saying straight up that they clocked our views to get us to pay more. Got it. <laughs> I'm writing it down so I don't forget it this time. That's a trick. If you're ever trying to remember something, stop thinking about it. Go do something else. Just, you know, do anything else. Just stop thinking about it. It'll, it, it will come to you. I'm saying straight up that they clocked our views to get us to pay more just to get us back to where we had before late March. But the problem is this is a pyramid scheme. A few things are going to happen here. Sellers will quit. Then in mass represents lost revenue for eBay. Sellers will start cross-listing on other sites, which means every cross-list to sale elsewhere is money eBay lost. Then there are those who will post less like me, which means I'm making that the money elsewhere. I got an antique mall booth and this month, my second, I'll, I'll net more than I'm netting on eBay now. In two more months, I should make more per month than I was at the height of eBay. I used to run a brick and mortar, so this isn't hard for me. Had all the fixtures and inventory. Now 80% of what I used to source for eBay is now going to the booth. I spend 20% of the time I used to on eBay per day. I can feed them. I can't feed them when they're starving me of views if I don't pay the extortion fee. This CEO needs to be fired as soon as possible. And even then it'll take years for the site to get back to normalcy if eBay decides to go back to what made them what they are. But as someone said, the stockholders are going to want that extortion money, which will only come in for so long until the suggested fees get so big, there's no reason to do it. I deal in records and books and I'm cross-listing my higher price books to Mercari at 10% lower. I specialize in Mormon lit literature because of where I live, easy to source, and I have a large following. Because Mercari has lower fees, I can give them 10% off and direct Mormon buyers to Mercari with the promise of lower prices. Because Mercari has lower fees, I can give them 10% off and direct Mormon buyers to Mercari. That's smart. In essence, I'm using eBay as advertising for my off eBay sales. All my records on eBay will be on a spreadsheet soon, which I will be sending the links to for any customer buying from me off eBay. I have, an, I have a, some information I just got about that as well, and I want to follow up on this. This gives me the opportunity to buy direct. This gives them the opportunity to buy direct at 15% off and me to have the money in the bank immediately as well as bundled sales. I have a minimum outside of eBay and can sell $5 items I'd never sell. I'd never sell on eBay because the fees make it not worth it. Use eBay to advertise other stuff. Check out booths in places, all sorts of things like that. Be a reseller, not an eBayer. That is so key. And I think that this, this, this is where we're going to... This is where we decide to be resellers. I would have been more than happy to just list on eBay. I really would. I mean, they, six months ago, they, they got me to start thinking outside of eBay. Be a reseller, not an eBayer. But that should be like a slogan or something, right? Don't allow them the power to screw with your life because they are and they really don't care. And that is so true. How many of you guys are affected on a daily basis because of something that eBay does? I, I swear to God, they're gonna... They're going to make me leave this earth sooner than, than I should. When the CEO gets fired, he's going to go home to his wife and say, Honey, I got fired. She'll say, Hooray, when are we going on vacation? And he'll say, Let's talk about that after I cashed a $30 million check they gave me for being so horrible at my job. Wife, hooray. I mean, that is... There's so much there. Now, 
the fourth call today, the one who uh, the gentleman gave me the cake analogy, and 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 he, you know, he kind of agreed with a lot of what I said. I asked him a question, and I have the reference number to prove this eBay. If you're watching this, I wanted to know if somebody bought something from me, if I'm allowed to say to him so and, and and this is one of the things that i'm gonna start doing and and i have some strategies i have some things i'm going to talk about about how i'm how i'm dealing with this crap that we're going through and this is one of them so i have a number of local sources and i have a number of um online you know i've got two ebay stores i sell comics on a on a, on a third party, on a, on a different site, basically stuff that I can't sell on eBay because it's adult in in content. Um, yeah, so anyhow. So I, 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 I proposed a scenario to this customer rep and I said, hey, if you bought a hat from me and you pay for it on eBay, I mail it to you and inside that package was a letter from me saying, hey, thank you for your order. Um, if you, you know, this is me thinking about my wording and how I would do it, but I would be like, Hey, if you're happy with your order, uh, I do sell on other sites and I want to encourage you to deal with me directly for future purchases. You, know, you can view my items on my, on my two eBay stores, my, you know, what, whatever. And then, and then here's my email and I can give you 20%. I can, I can give you 20% flat off anything you want, but we got to deal directly to get that. If I'm paying 15% in eBay fees and I'm paying 15% in promoted listings, you know, you've got taxes, you've got, you know, and, and encourage, you know, encourage, say, say at 20% is even off of shipping as well. So you can do lower shipping, you can get 20% off, you deal with me directly. So I said to that eBay rep, if I, if I include this in, 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 in the package, this letter, can, can you, as a customer, deal with me directly for future purchases? Even if the items are, on, are, are already on eBay? And he says, absolutely. I, and I told him, I go, because I don't want to violate any eBay procedures. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want a buyer to have power over me because if I sent this and I'm and and I'm not allowed, I don't want that buyer to say, "Hey, sell me X Y Z for for this amount," or I'm going to report you to eBay. I'm not in this business to have you know. It's bad enough that buyers think that they have the power to pull stuff that they pull on eBay. And he absolutely said, he said, the one thing that you cannot do is talk about doing an offline sale through eBay. So basically, if, if, if this customer service rep came to me through eBay's efforts, interested in a hat, that first deal has to be done through e eBay. You, you can't talk about anything. eBay gets their money because they brought that customer to the site. But everything after that. So, so a strategy is turning eBay customers into your customers. I don't know. I, I, I feel like it, it, it's going to be extra work, but it's going to be so satisfying. It's going to be so satisfying to, to, for future purchases to, you know, and I don't know how effective it's going to be, but I don't know, like I don't do a lot of buying online, but if I buy something and I have a great experience and I'm and, and the guy's like, I'll do 20% lower than my prices, 20% lower on the shipping. I don't know, that sounds like win-win to me. Okay, the first call, let's, let's talk about the first call that I had today. If my phone cuts off, I'm gonna upload this video and I'll break it up into two parts.
I don't know if my phone, sometimes if I make too long of a video, sometimes it freezes up. The first rep I called, it was a bit of a disaster. He just, he wasn't really understanding what I was doing. I finally got him to connect me to a supervisor. Well, I got him, I convinced him to connect me to a supervisor. It took 10 minutes to do that. He's, he, he connects me, introduces me. He leaves, nothing. There's like no sound. He comes back and he's like, oh. He's like, Sir Jeff, you're still here. And I go, yeah. I go, um, I, you, the supervisor never heard me. So then he's like, oh, he's like, let, let me, let me try again. Literally another 10 minutes. And then the phone just disconnects. Not a good start. Like 35 minutes of my day, wasted. Um, the next one. The next one, I, let's see here. They listened. I tried to get connected to a supervisor right away. But she was like gatekeeping. Like, so I, I'm like talking and my, and my wife's in the same room and she's, she's hearing what I'm going through. And she's like, she's like, Jeff, Jeff, she's like, she's just gatekeeping. Like, like, cause I would say something, I, I would express what's going on with my, my promoted listings and my, or my impressions. And like, I just want to know, like, I literally just want to know what's going on. Like, like it doesn't just drop like this naturally. Collectively, the world, all of my customers just do not decide overnight that they're not interested. And then, and then they were trying to tell me, oh, sales are slow everywhere. And I'm like, that is so insulting. You do not know how insulting that is. You just said sales are slow. I'm not even talking about sales. I'm talking about impressions. I'm talking about people just seeing my items. I can't make a sale if people aren't seeing my items. And, and, and that was pretty much a, 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 a useless conversation. They, they, they took all my complaints and they said they were gonna file uh, this and I, he's gonna refresh my listings. I don't really even know what that means. Um, he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm like, you're, so you're gonna refresh all 4,100 of my listings. He's like, yeah, he's like, he's like, and, and that should help out. I think I had one sale on my on my store today. I had three sales on the other one. Um, and I, after this video is done, I'm gonna upload it. I'm gonna take a 10 minute break and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do a what sold video. Cause I did have some sales today. I had a couple local sales and some other things I wanna talk about. Um, the third person I spoke with, she got it. And one thing I like to do, and I talked about this, I think the other day, is I like to always kind of ask the customer service reps if they also sell. Because they, I just find that they speak the language a little bit. They're a little more invested, uh, especially like, so, so, so this lady, she was a brand new seller to eBay and she's been working for eBay for four years. She had like she was so understanding and so sympathetic and she like and i taught her some things she was like so i asked i asked her to pull up my advertising dashboard kick it out in 90 days because if you just do 30 days you don't really get the big picture and and if you kick it out for 13 months you really see that that, that what is going on right now is a huge anomaly and she actually said, so at the end of the video, she goes, you know, you did actually teach me some things. And I go, well, what did I teach you? And she goes, well, she's like, I will admit I have been guilty of passing off slow sales as, as a reason for impressions being down when I'm only looking at the 30 day chart. She's like, but now having looked at your chart and your other stores chart and seeing a huge anomaly that on both stores on an extended view, she's like, it's, it's so clear that, that something happened, like that there's an update. Let me talk about my third reason right now, because it's actually applicable right now. 
So you got the cake theory with the, a limited amount, finite amount of, um, you know, advertising dollars and you basically to out promote people to get views. If you're not promoting, you're not getting views. The second thing that I think is going on straight up eBay is just throttling your listings if you're not promoting. It's a very nefar nefarious view. I don't know if it's true. I, th these are just possibilities. And, and anybody through watching this video, if you come up with other possible scenarios, please write it in the comments. Um, I am, I can't express how thankful I am for the dialogue and the conversations that are going on. It truly makes me feel like I'm not alone and I'm sure that it makes you not feel like you're alone. So the third reason is this, uh, the July 17th update. I have, I'll admit my store has a horrible, my stores have a horrible sell through rate. I don't sell items that, that sell fast. I sell collectibles, I sell, but it's never been an issue. Like, because I have a big store, I have a big selection. I, I don't actually want to sell like 50 items. I don't want to even sell 20, 25 items a day. That's just so much work. I mean, ideally, I would like to have somebody buy something and then, you know, maybe add a few things. I, I, I want to try to increase my per, per package dollar value so I'm just shipping less. So my, my, my theory is that eBay is punishing stores with low sell, sell through rates and they're basically not giving them any listings. It's possible. From eBay's perspective, they might think, oh, if this store doesn't have a good sell-through rate, why should we give it per, um, per, per impressions? Now, I don't know. Like, this is why the back and forth dialogue between you guys is so important, is do your, do, have, has, has your store impressions been, been jacked for the last week with a high sell through rate store. So let's find some commonalities. Let's find some differences and, you know, let's, you know, let's, let's troubleshoot. So, so those are my three theories as to what's going on right now. Um, but anyhow, so this lady, she was incredibly like, she, 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 so she's gonna, she's gonna report it. She's gonna, you know, I, I basically filed a complaint every, every single phone call I was with today. So eBay got four different complaints today from me, from me regarding how they're running their businesses, how they treat their customers. And um, there's something else that I asked the third rep, the one who was out of all of them. The last two were the best, but the third one really got it. And she was really, she was, you know, I could tell she was really listening because as I said, she's a seller. Somebody on the, on the, on, on the uh, comments, asked about if I had updated my, my shipping to ground advantage. Now I do something a little different with my shipping and it's never been an issue. And I did, so basically I just have standard shipping and then I have the prices in there. And, and I, I do that so I have choices as to how I wanna mail things. Maybe it's, maybe it's wrong. I mean, maybe it's, maybe it's hurting me, maybe it's not. It's never been an issue for me. And so I've never had to change any, any, any of my shipping policies whenever like the, you know, the priority went to ground advantage, all that. Um, I just do standard shipping, standard international shipping, and I have the rates in there for the people to see for whatever items they want to buy. So I have CDs at a certain rate. I have comics at a certain rate. I have bigger, larger items at a certain rate. But I, I like having that flexibility to how, how I ship things. Um, it's probably an, a, a, an ass backwards kind of thing. And here's the other funny thing. It's not funny actually. It's, 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 pretty, it's pretty pathetic. So my eBay store has never been top rated. It's never been top rated because I don't usually upload my tracking numbers. I don't normally, I, I don't offer, I'm never going to offer one day shipping and I'm never going to offer um, returns unless eBay forces us to. Three months ago, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to start uploading my tracking just to see what happens. Just to see, and, and, and I, I have the tracking. And so when customers ask for it, so as of this month, I'm top rated 
For the first time in 12 years, my store is top rated. I just don't care about that stuff. I, I, I let my track record of sales speak for itself. And, and like I said, I, I've always said from day one of these videos, like I do a lot of things wrong, but I still make money. It's so ironic that my store is, if it was evaluated today, would be top rated. And my <laughs> store is like basically not selling anything because of the, the changes that they've made. Like that is some sick ass irony right there. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to think. So the gatekeeper, she got it, you know, she, uh, she, she, she left it that, so she's going to submit these inquiries to find out, to give me an answer. Like I, I am in, I'm a customer of eBay. I deserve to know why my impressions have dropped. I straight up said to her, I said, I just want to know. I just want to, I, I just want to know if it's a glitch. And, and cause they have had a lot of issues. They have, they've had, they've had sales issues. They've had, they've had advertising dashboard issues. I'm really sorry about how long this video is taking. I'm almost done. Um, I said, I just, I just want to know what I have to do to get back to where I was and where I was, was not even that great compared. Like I, I would love to get back to where I was six months ago. With, with my say, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe nine months ago. So I said, I just, I just want to know why my impressions have dropped, what I have to do to get back. I said, if you tell me, if you come back to me and you tell me that I have to promote at 20%, if that's what I have to do, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll sell everything in my store and I'll go. If that's what, if that's what you tell me, like, because I already have the items up. I would rather sell them. I would rather sell them and pay the 20% and the, and the 50% and then and get something out of it. Um, now, what am I going to do now? What am I going to do now? I'm going to continue to list right now. Uh, I, I also... Uh, the, the one reader comment that he, he said he basically added the promoted advance, I want the, the, the dynamic promotions where it, it goes and it, it adjusts it up to 13 and a half percent. I'm thinking about doing a test on one store, do that and the other one, leave it that, as it is just to see what happens, just to see if I'm thinking about it. I, I haven't decided. I'm also thinking about just saying F it and take all the promotions off and just, you know, just deal, just deal with the sales as they go and, and list more and, uh, sell things more online and, and other platforms. Um, that's one thing. Um, what else am I going to do? I can't remember now. Um, Try not to stress about it as much right now, um, because like I said, sometimes these things, these, these these occurrences do happen, and and they just end up working themselves out. Um, the lady, the, the third lady that I spoke with, she did say that she's going to call me back. Like I, I I made it a point to be like, look, I've been told this before. I've been told this actually twice before. I never get called back because she was like, if something needs to be adjusted, I'll call you. I'm like, no, please, just and then just call me back one way or the other. She said she would. I don't know if she's gonna. Um, I, I'm I'm gonna stop this video now because I don't I don't want to just linger on. I'll have a more strategized business plan as, in, in terms of kind of like how I want to proceed. But you know, right now I'm thinking you know I'm gonna continue listing. I'm gonna maybe run some some tests. Some promoted listings tests to see how it goes. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's just I'm I'm gonna look into cross listing. 
I'm going to look into, you know, be even more aggressive than I have been with local stuff. And um, hope and pray that, that eBay, it's going to be interesting. I think eBay's earnings comes out tomorrow. Uh, and I don't know if I want them to have bad earnings. Because I feel like if they have bad earnings, then they're probably just going to try to take even more money from us. Or if they have really, really good earnings, they're going to feel vindicated for their new strategy and they're probably going to take more money from us. I feel like they're going to take more money from us anyhow. But I don't know. It's a shame because as I said before, I, I wish I could only just list on eBay. It would make my life easier. But they're just not making it. They're not making it easy on us right now. I, you know, I, I don't know. Anyhow, thank you guys for watching. I, I, I really appreciate it. I keep the dialogue coming. Give me some feedback on this on this video. Um, it, you know, I'll probably I don't have any plans to call it eBay tomorrow. Um, it's just it's so exhausting. It is it's just so much mental capacity dealing with them. And I mean, to be honest with you, I actually do feel bad for the customer service reps. Like it's, they shouldn't be having to make excuses for their employers the way they do. They shouldn't have to, you know, take it easy on them. They're doing the best that they can. Um, yeah, anyhow, have a good night, guys. Uh, I'll be doing a what sold video in about, in about 30 minutes. And uh, I've got some cool sales and I have a really cool sale, a cool local sale tomorrow. And I'm going to show you how I package those six cups. Um, super awesome. I was so excited. Uh, uh, you'll see in the video. So anyhow, take care, guys. We'll talk soon. And feed the YouTube algo. You know what to do.